Hello and welcome back to Shindy Games. Today we're playing a game called Nova Drift. Basically, you fly a spaceship around, stuff gets really hard, there's lots and lots of bullets coming at you, lots and lots of stuff to destroy. You can press enter to upgrade your ship, and you can go down different, different kind of chains and paths with how your ship evolves. So we can go grenade, explode on impact or after a delay. Okay, that's cool. We can do a torrent. Deploy a close range, widespread, rapid fire, lattice of energy. Oh, that sounds like my kind of bag because split shot, it's a bit too vanilla for me. So we're gonna accept this upgrade. Oh yeah, look at this! Oh, it's like with a Cthulhu of spaceships. So where's the next wave of ships? Oh, <laughs> they're nothing before the might of my lattice beam. Oh man, I love a good lattice. Okay. Oh yeah, reckon. So immediately we've now got another upgrade. So we can do something else to our ship. We can body sentinel. Plus 10% shield damage resistance, 20% shield effect radius, and shield effect power. We can go assault, more rate of fire, less projectile speed, and less velocity. Or we can go stealth. Oh, Or we can press R to re-roll. It's given us the same thing, except now we've got engineer instead. Plus two limits to all basic constructs, standard constructs, advanced construct constructs. Wow, so you can be an engineer. If you can deploy space turrets, that's definitely something I want to do. So we're definitely going to accept that one. Although we haven't got any yet, I hope this will come into play with the later upgrades that we get. But this feels a bit like cheat mode at the moment. Look at this. Nothing can get even close. Right, so here we go. This is our third upgrade. So we can change our shield to a halo. Warp. When destroyed, this shield teleports you to a distance equal to the shield effect radius. And it creates a deadly pulse when you, when you do warp. And reflect. Reflect enemy weaponry with boosted power. That sounds pretty good. Let's add a reflect. A reflector beam. Okay, yeah, now the enemies are starting to get a bit tricky. And we've got another upgrade already, though. Ah, oh, here we go. This is where stuff starts to get pretty, pretty cool. So we can choose a mod. So we can get magnitude. Mines. Deploys mines which detonate when an enemy is nearby. Blast radius for explosive. But where are the turrets at? We want turrets. But for now, weapon size sounds like a good one. Oh, yeah, it's much bigger. Is it? Kind of bigger. Oh, uh, this is some kind of boss, I think. But he's no match for us. Look at this guy. I'm going to smoke him. He's messing with the tentacles of Cthulhu now. So I guess stuff happens in waves, and you just do as many waves as you can without dying. Simple enough. We're going to live forever. Oh, it can be quite hard to see what your front is, though. All right, level up. Let's accept that straight away. Oh, what are they charging up? Big old fireballs. Okay, right, so now we can do another mod. So splinter, your primary projectile splinters into weaker mini projectiles. When destroyed, on impact, size and count affect the number of splinters per projectile. Or we can go shield durability, more shield durabilities, more hull strength, ally, gain the ability to assemble and deploy an advanced autonomous alloy. Yes, as engineers, this is the one we want. So if we press 4, we get a little robot dude. Nice. Oh, there he is. He's going crazy shooting asteroids. You get him. Get him, boy. Singularity detected. Oh, that's bad. That's like a black hole, right? So we've got to get away from it. Yeah, no problem. Oh, God. Okay, while enemies are attacking. Okay, let's quickly upgrade. Nanotech. Your ally regenerates 2% of its maximum hull strength. Splinter. Durable team. Your ally focuses fire on the last target you damaged. Weapon damage and weapon size. That, that might be big. Now we're going to be all about our ally. We're going to boost our dude. That's the way we're doing this. Easy cheese. So we're level 6 already. Can we get another one? Oh, we've got another ally. Alright, boss time. Getting close to those tentacles. Oh my god. Oh, that was a big damage. That was a big damage. But we got him. We got him. Evolution. Ally hull strength and rate of fire per your level. Unlock mods for specialized ally types. Yes! That looks to be the one we want to do. Okay. Is that our ally? Right there? No, that's, that's a bad guy. Can we get another ally back? Come here. Come here, you bastard. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I take... Planet damage? Okay, let's get in close to the tentacles. Nice. 
Okay, big old fireballs. No sweat. Comets. Get another ally out. Go on. Go crazy, my friend. So we do have to stop firing every now and again just to work out where I actually am. Easy. Okay, what are we going to do now? Interceptor. Your ally is transformed into an interceptor. Plus 50% speed and damage. Yeah, we're going to go interceptor. Whoa! Ooh, almost got hit by that. I think our dude did get hit by that. But he managed to survive. Another upgrade. I'll take it. Okay, so I think we've max upgraded our dude now. He's uh, an interceptor. What else are we going to add? Payload and weapon size? Mines detonate when enemies nearby. It's a basic construct. We can only have two, and I think uh, the guy, our, our, our ally, counts as a basic construct. So we don't want to do that, I guess? What about payload? More damage, more size? More damage, more size looks good. Doesn't feel like it's bigger, although it does feel like it's got a bit more reach. Oh yeah, this is so easy. Look at this. Okay, let's get another ally out. There we go. Two interceptors on the scene. And get an upgrade. Drones. Oh, I like this. Assemble and deploy automatic drones, which orbit you and attack targets. Or ranger. Instead of advancing, your interceptor stays at a distance from its target. That sounds pretty cool. Velocity and weapon damage. Plus two weapon projectiles. Maybe we want to go Ranger? Yeah, Ranger looks like a good one. So he hangs back and does damage from a distance. And we can just fly around and just dodge stuff. Okay, where's the enemy at? There he is. Go on, get him. Easy. So we could literally just fly around dodging bullets while our Rangers do their work. Integrated weaponry. Your interceptor fires your weapon in addition to its own. Let's get integrated weaponry. See what that does. Oh, actually, this could be good. Okay, what, what can we do now? Regeneration. Your passive regenerates. Hull regenerates at a rate proportional to maximum hull. That's good. Let's add weapon projectiles. This looks kind of cool. Oh my god, oh, I just took heavy damage there. I should have just dodged those. Oh, so we're just going to stay at a distance from this rude dude and let our dudes do the slaying. Nice. Oh, just got dinked. No upgrades yet. Go on, do your work. Close to another upgrade. There we go. Okay, what now? Rapid fire, rate of fire, charge shot we don't want. Projectile targeting, focus fire, minus 40% total weapon and projectile speed. Oh, spread. We want spread because we're all about the tentacles. I reckon probably shields is a good way of doing it. Let's go for shields. So at any point if we don't like our upgrades, we can re-roll until we get a choice build. So you can definitely like chase build ideas. Lewis was saying when he played, uh, my friend, uh, he uh, went for a headbutt build, which made his ship really durable, but when he rammed stuff, it did massive damage. So far, wave 35, I feel like we're slaying it. Just absolutely slaying this. It's not so much bullet hell at the moment, but bullet slightly warm place. So we'll see if it gets that much harder as we go forwards. When you take a hit to your shield, it discharges damage. Damaging energy in the direction of the offender. We don't want to get hit, so we're not going to give that one. Thrusters is pretty good. Hull strength is pretty good. Passive regen. Passive regen sounds great, actually. More weapon velocity and damage. That could be good. Let's go for tankiness. So we're going to get some regen, I think, and then we'll get hull strength next time. Because it must get to the point where we just can't dodge what's coming at us and we have to tank it, right? Oh, here we go. What's going on here? Easy. Oh, no, he's back. Actually, I can let my rangers just go crazy on this guy. Yeah. I wonder if there's any booty inside the asteroids if we can dig for gold. Oh, absolutely. Oh, boss time! What is this thing? It is a thing. We are killing it. My tentacles of death 
Okay, this is where it starts to get bullet hell. Boink. Where's that shot going? Okay. Whoa. Okay, we survived. Oh, this is getting... Vulnerability detected. The inside of the ship. Can we get inside there? It's not that vulnerable, you know. Oh, we don't want to be in here. Oh my god! We smoked him! Okay, upgrades. Now things are starting to get super serious. We've got to work out how we can get... Right. Our ally regenerates 2% of its maximum health strength. Health strength. That could be good. Barrier. Improved thrusters. Maybe it's time to upgrade our weapon to something crazy. Like flak. Shrapnel which shreds close range targets. Yeah, maybe that's not the one. Evasion. Do we want our drones to have evasion? Let's go for evasion. And we'll get one of our dudes out. There he is. Nice. Oh. Lots of fireball shooters. Whoa. Another guy out and about. Okay, get an upgrade. What are we going for? Charge shot. We definitely don't want charge shot. So you can always re-roll if you don't like what you're going for. Let's try that. Re-roll. And again, splinter. Splinters into weaker mini projectiles when destroyed on impact. Minus 10% rate of fire. Faster shield cooldown. When you take a hit to your shield, it discharges damaging energy, targeting singular strike, plus 15% total damage when and blast radius for the central projectile in your volley, and 30% total size for the central projectile in your volley. Oh, but 10% weapon spread. That sounds pretty good. Where am I? I'm off the screen. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at these tentacles. This is just ridiculous. It feels like I'm cheating. Oh god, that's a, lot of, that's a lot of bullets. Nice. So we're at wave 45 now, with no end in sight. Ooh. Okay, another level up. So we're going to keep upgrading our drones until we get all of the drones unlocked. Because I'm pretty sure uh, as you get unlocks, more stuff becomes available in the tree. Oh, this is effortless. Absolutely slaying. Uh-oh. Space squ Whoa! Space squid. It's a very pretty looking game. Nice. Don't get any uh, score for killing those mines, though. So my, my shield does recharge pretty quickly. Whoa, okay, what are you guys? Just dinked off that thing. Uh-oh, this could be... Oh, this is bad! Holy crap, I almost died! Let's get an upgrade, quick. Double base weapon projectiles. Plus one weapon projectile. Do we want that? Let's get that. Oh yeah, look at that! Ooh. Okay, so one's down. I guess I'm just trying to survive now, just floating around off screen. Oh, it's happening. So our drones are actually super powerful now. Whoa! Oh my god, we just got cometed. Let's fly straight into these bad boys. Okay, another level up. Right, here we go. Drones. Are we going to go for drones? Let's go for drones. So, if we get a drone, it doesn't reduce how many uh, things we can have out. That's good. I can get another drone out, actually, as well. It's quite messy to see what's going on here, isn't it? There we go. Two drones out on patrol. 
And hopefully these things count as stuff that can get hit by stuff that's shooting at me. Uh-oh, boss time. Okay, that's bad. Whoa. Go on, Ranger Rick. Oh god, that thing's damaging. Ah, uh, we can get inside this. Do some damage. Oh, look at that! Look at that damage! Singularity? Wait, where am I? Oh my god! I just got sucked into a singularity! Mod unlocked magnetism. Oh, right, so as you play through the game, you get more and more unlocks. I got to rank 6. Increases the distance of power-up attraction. This mod appears in the random pool at level 8. Oh, man, there's so, but there's so many different ways you can build your ship. The world really is your oyster. Oh, man, that's pretty cool. Well, I want to jump back into this and give myself another roll. Try another style of ships. But I'm going to call it there, because this has been a look at Nova Drift. It's available on Steam, so check it out. It's, uh, it's pretty cheap. Thank you for watching. If you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. Also, channel memberships are a cool way to uh, support the channel. But obviously, there's no obligation to do that. But thank you if you do decide to do that. Until next time, and until the next Shindy game, take care.